This is Larry's Country Diner, taped live at Ray Stevens Cabaret Showroom, all summer long in Nashville, Tennessee. Well, hello everybody, welcome into Larry's Country Diner. Are you ready to have a good time? Are you ready to have a good time? All right, right now I want you to meet the man, the myth, the legend in his own in his own time. Here's Larry! Thank you! Thank you. <laughs> you are? That's what that you other told guy, me. Does that other guy you work for let you handle sure. them that way? Anything I want to call him. He does. Yeah. He goes with it. Yeah. How many of you have seen him on the Mike Huckabee show? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We have a good time. You're both great bosses to work for. You just let me go wild. <laughs> And you do go wild. Yes, I do. That's for sure. I got to do the promise. Yeah. All right. Pink, green, yellow. What color? Okay. That was not one of the options. <laughs> I liked it. I'm with yellow. you. I was going to say blue, it. and he didn't say blue. We did. You're not alone. We did a, uh, we had some artists up here, and I asked them, I said, give me a number between one and one and 50. And a guy said, 70. And I said, no, between one and 50. <laughs> Two different artists asked that, so that's not. I still don't understand. And I still don't have a, re there's the, the. You need some tweezers? No, they were glued together. Because oh. the promises are like that. They're glued together. Mm -hmm. God does that for us. They have all, they all have the same Lord who generously gives his riches to all who ask for them. That's Romans 10, 12. John 1, 12 says, but as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become sons of God, even to them that believed on his name. I like it. Very good. Love the promise. I've said it before, we always used to, uh, at dinner time, at food time, we would read a promise before we ate. Mm -hmm. That's a good so idea. Just, have you already eaten? Uh, well, I had a bite, but we just said a promise earlier. Okay. As long as you have. Okay. You know who we have here today. I know. <laughs> I know. I Mo love... Bandy, I love his singing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Stop it. <laughs> oh, well, I'm getting, I'm getting a stink eye. Right? You are. <laughs> <laughs> and you deserve it. I am unusually fond of this guy. Me too. Gene Watson. Oh, let me tell you this. Earlier in another iteration of the show, we had a woman, Janice Willis. <laughs> Makes right? the best brownies in the country. That was you. All right. They said that she, we had an 80th birthday. And so I go, who's Janice Willis? She put her hand. I said, they said 80th birthday. She goes, no, I'm 75. Then another Janice Willis was back there and that was her birthday. So this Janice- We need Janice, middle initials, initials folks. Huh? This Janice Willis won the state lottery. And the first thing she did was hold a Gene Watson concert. Wow. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Yep. I'll never there, forget there that. There went all her winnings. Huh? How neat is that? <laughs> that is so cool. Won't you win the lottery again? That's right. <laughs> I'll tell you something else, too. She makes the greatest brownies. Oh, really? Look at me. Uh -huh. Is there any <laughs> doubt? She definitely does. Oh, that's good. You, you've got two, you get a new project out, right? Well, our latest project that we've got out is a gospel project. The Gospel Roots. Yeah, My Gospel Roots. Uh, I'm so thrilled with that. I've also got the producer of that and also my piano player, producer and uh, his wife Miss Gail playing fiddle with me today along with the sheriff on guitar and Miss Michelle helping with some vocals so uh, we're loaded up today. And I've seen all of you on the cruise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that CD we've released three number ones out of it. Cashbox mm. Magazine and, and uh, some of the biggest trades in Christian countries so I'm real proud of it. Had you had any success with gospel music before? Well, I've only recorded one mm -hmm. other gospel album, and uh, it, we didn't have that much success 
on the radio. Yeah. But uh, they quit playing me on the radio a long time ago. <laughs> it would have made no difference what I recorded. You know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, at the shows where we would do the the songs and everything, they they were extremely successful. In fact, I brought a couple of my sisters from Texas up right. here to Nashville to help me with it, and and. Uh, the people seemed to really like it. And they kept asking me when we were going to do another gospel project. And Dirk and I got together and we put together My that Gospel Roots. Five and, country number one songs, 23 top tens, over 76 charted singles. And number and three number one consecutive gospel singles. It's pretty amazing. You're going to do Build Your Mansion later, right? Do it a little bit later on the show, if it's all right. Larry, I'll remind you, you and I, as disc jockeys, had a lot to do with that. Has he ever said thank you to you? <laughs> he has never stopped saying thank you to me. I don't know what happened to well, you. He ain't done to me. <laughs> Gene, let's sing a song. <laughs> <We're g> <laughs> it started early, didn't it? <laughs> There's no padding on this, and it's going to hit you right in the back of the head before the show is over with. <laughs> Good to see all you folks here today. You ready for me to go to work? Yeah. We're going to go back and do a song that I recorded in 1996. And I might add, don't hold a gun on me, because this is the first time I've sung this song since we walked out of the studio that night. Oh, my wow. goodness. We're going to try to do it, I mean, for Larry's Country Diner. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> we like that. <laughs> Walking, talking, holding your hand That's something special to me Sharing and caring for each other's needs While we're building our dream Our song is any song playing at the time you know love has its own sound I'm happy, you're happy And it's easy to see The good old days are right now The good old days are Every day That I spend we found I'm happy you're happy and it's easy to see the good old days are right now we found I'm happy and you're happy and it's easy to see the good old days are right now the good old days are right now Everybody happy. Watson. We're happy. When I kicked out, I thought it was going to be Jeepers Creepers. Where'd you get those? You creepers? know, I thought it was too. And then he, 
Jeepers creepers. <laughs> Did he tell you that? I, I was going there in my brain. Oh. And I thought, Well, that that's... kickoff sounds like Jeepers Creepers, doesn't it? Doesn't it? We're the only ones that remember that song. That's right. <laughs> that could be it. Gene Watson. Yes, sir. Say hello to Blake Chansey's mama. Blake Chansey's mom. There she yeah. is. Well, how do you do, ma'am? I've heard Blake Chansey for years and years and years. Now I can say I've heard Blake Chansey's mom. <laughs> good to see you. Blake Chansey's mom has heard him years and years and years. You know, we've got some good songwriters in here, too. Miss oh, Erin yeah. Enderlin's here. Yeah, and she's got some guests with her. And uh, Who? There's two, you have Bobby Tomlinson. Uh, Bobby Tomlinson. Yeah. I saw him back then. And... Uh, I don't know who all. Melba Montgomery. Melba Melba Montgomery. Montgomery's here. Yes. There she is back there. One of the finest singer-songwriters oh, in the business. Oh, I love to hear her talk as well as sing. I just want to hear her do a recitation record. Yeah. <laughs> she was a short order cook at an all-night cafe. Remember <laughs> that one there, Melba? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Love it. She used to sing duets with George Jones. Uh-huh. As well as the hit uh, No yeah, Charge. Yeah, that one was with Charlie Leuven. Oh, I love those Charlie Leuven cuts. You know what? I've done talk to us into a commercial. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fired. Hey, we'll be back. More Larry's Country Diner on the way. And we'll see what Nadine has in store for Gene Watson. Should be interesting. Oh, we'll boy. be back right after this. Hey, don't forget, there's a store down below. You can get Country's Family Reunion and Larry's Country Diner stuff. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. I think Nadine's on the way. What do you think? That's what happens when your butt, when your finger hits the wrong button. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting good, I'm telling you. <laughs> Charlotte's 84 today. Well, That's Charlotte, not North you're Carolina. up there with me. Charlotte. Where's there Charlotte? she is, right there. 84. Wow. We've got... Looking good. Husband and wife, Bobby Farmer and Ann Farmer. Bobby is 80 and Ann is 79. Y'all trying about to get that? There they are. Happy birthday, y'all. You know, we get this age, we just start telling everything, don't we? Yeah. That's right. We're just glad to be here. <laughs> glad to be anywhere. Glad Gene Watson's here. Isn't that the truth? You're looking good, Gene. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the grocery store yesterday. Now, when I say yesterday, that could be yesterday or it could be 15 years ago. But I was there and I walked in line, got up there with my groceries and I'm trying to get, I'm paying with cash. I don't do credit cards. And I was trying to get my cash out of my billfold and I heard this guy behind me go, <sighs> like that. And I turned around and I said, hey buddy, if you just keep on that way, I'm gonna write a check. <laughs> <laughs> People just don't have any time for seniors. I don't like it. But I gotta tell you something funny. And we don't want any letters. Do not write Larry a letter on this. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're getting too many letters in the mail. But anyway, uh, I was talking to a friend of mine and her daughter works over at the ER. They had a guy come in there th uh, Tuesday night and he had a concussion two black eyes, and he had a golf club wrapped around his neck. And Whoa. she said the doctor came in there and they had him all stretched out there and he said, uh, the doctor said, what happened to you? He said, well, me and my wife was playing golf. <laughs> 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 you was there, wasn't you? Somebody you, identified. You, you was in the ER. Well, they was playing golf and he said, we both sliced our ball and it went over into this pasture in this cow pasture where all these cow, cows were. Mm -hmm. And he said, we went over there looking for our balls and he said, we was looking around and rooting around in the weeds and everything. And he said, something white caught 
this glint of white caught my eye and I walked over and it was on this cow. He said, I picked up the tail and sure enough, it was a golf ball there with my wife's monogram on it. Oh no. And he said, she was way over there. And he said, I said, honey, this looks just like yours. <laughs> and he said, you know, he said, I don't remember much after that. <laughs> This may be the second show we can't air. Yeah. <laughs> Send it to Nadine. That's, that's about three letters, I think. <laughs> but, um, that it? That's it. Oh, uh, no, I got to put a sign up. My sign is the spiritual eyesight improves as the physical eyesight declines. Yep. That's deep. And mine is, this is happening. <laughs> Believe me, people. Forget yeah. about the golf joke. <laughs> <laughs> Gene Watson? Yes, sir. Give us another song, if you would, please. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> take a quick break, but Johnny and Linda Phillips from Negley, Texas, Red River County, 61 years wedding, right? August 2nd. Wow. Back there. There, there Whoa, they are. There, right they are. Right there they are. <laughs> Sean Kilpatrick. Is that you? Is it Shan or Sean? Shan, birthday last week, two grandkids up here, 
first trip to Nashville. Wow. Are you having fun? Have they taken you downtown? Oh, they probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. And what's your name? Ryland. Good to see you. And I didn't ask your name. Grace. Taylor Grace. Thanks for being here. I love it when people come. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, we need to get out of here now. You know, I was listening. It kind of sounded like Jeep, Jeepers Creepers, kind of slower. We'll be back right after this. Hey, right, welcome back to Larry's Country. Now, oh, diners. I just noticed the special of the day. Well, this is a good one. Gene Watson's Nothing Sure Look Good On You Cheesecake. <laughs> Actually, it does look better with fresh strawberries and whipped cream on top, but that's up to you. So that's our naked, Larry. That's our naked cheesecake. That's right. I love it. Nothing sure look good on you. Jeez, hey, Gene. Yes, sir. You got another song for us? Yeah, before I do this, though, I'd like to, I'd like to say something kind of on a serious note. This song I'm about to do was, was one of my favorite songs when we went in to do this session. And uh, I might add, we recorded this like in uh, 96. And uh, it was actually the beginning of a great acquaintance between Dirk and myself. Mm -hmm. And because he's he's uh, producing me now, but he was playing on uh, a few of my sessions here and there. But the first chart record he ever charted playing piano was on one that's on this very CD wow. called Change Your Mind. And that was his first chart song that he played on. And boy, he's had a slew of them since. But you know, my, my career was just about gone when I came up here and hooked up with Mr. Ray Pennington's Step One Records. And, uh, mm -hmm. and he actually talked me into staying with it. And we stayed with it and had a good ride for quite a while. And, and uh, of course, that's who I was doing the first gospel thing with, with my sisters. And then they decided for various reasons to uh, come uncoupled and shut it down. And then there I went looking again. And I was kind of laying down without nothing to do till I met a guy named Larry Black. <laughs> and done a, a few of his shows, and I'm working more now than I was 20 years ago, thanks Thank you. to you. Yeah. I'm happy for that. Keith remembers back then. You was playing the records. Oh, and yeah. We, you remember the heyday. We you, had many chats. Yeah. <laughs> do you it know, do you know he, Ernest Tubb was one of his biggest fans. Ernest loved you. Dear friend of mine. Yeah, I remember the day I, I brought his daughter and his wife out to meet you on the Karen, bus. Karen kept coming to our shows, oh, you yeah. know, time after time after time. But, but Ernest, I love had, what you did. I've had a lot of help in the business and mostly from all the Gene Watson fans because mm -hmm. they don't get no better than Gene Watson fans. No, I'll guarantee you that. Yeah. That on that first session, did you know his wife fiddled around? i tell you one thing, I learned just how good she fiddles around since I started <laughs> recording. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Go for it, Gene. She's played fiddle on just about everything that, that we've recorded together. And you may not see her standing out in front, but she's in there, I'll guarantee there. you. <laughs> this is one of my favorite songs, actually written by Ray Pennington and one of our favorite bass players, uh, David Smith. Oh, yes. And uh, maybe some of you people remember it. We used to do this on our show. It goes like this. Sit down here beside me Let me see that smile I was just reminiscing Some good times Do you remember that first date When you said you'd be mine And we promised There'd be no goodbyes And together we'd soar Over the mountains of life Some good times and some sad times 
we took it all in stride with you that beside me lord i've loved every mile and there's no reason for any goodbye So swiftly in the wink of an eye, a lifetime could just pass you on by. But love like ours goes on forever and beyond the end of time. Now there's no reason for any. sad times we took it all in stride with you there beside me lord i've loved every mile and there's no reason for any goodbye Watson, get us out of here. We got to take a quick much. break. You know, some guy over there just offered me a dollar and a quarter for this mug with Nadine's lipstick. You think I get any more than that? No. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> and welcome back to Larry's Country Diner, and that right there, that that's Larry right there. <laughs> Gerald and Sue Parker. From Reform, Alabama. Reform, yeah. Alabama. Have they haven't gotten it done yet? They're still trying to reform it. Yeah, still trying to get reform. <laughs> still trying to get reform. Hey, she's trying to reform. I understand to reform. that. No uh uh. Wedding anniversary will be coming up soon. We've been waiting for 49 years. Request for Gene Watson to sing farewell party. Well, we're not going to do it right now. We were here for the diners, two shows on May 29th. My wife enjoyed so much. Here we is again. All Keep right. up the good work. Thank you, guys. Don't Isn't get that any the truth? Here, Gene Watson. I agree you with that. You got it. All right, Gene Watson. Yes, Gospel sir. Roots, Gene Watson. That is available. Can they go to GeneWatson.com? Yes, sir. And Gene, Gene Watson, Watson, the good old days. GeneWatsonMusic.com. Music.com. And uh, I'd like to thank Boot Daddy and, and also Gus and Chicken Man over there for what they've done to support country music, too. These guys are heavy players, and, I mean, they really get behind us artists and stick, and we really appreciate it, you guys. We really do. <clears throat> Larry, this song that we're going to do is... Uh, is number three, the third release off of that album, and uh, it's the third one that went number one. Wow. So I'm thrilled to death with that, and, and, uh, and again, I can't thank all the fans out there enough for it. It's one written by the late Miss Dottie Rambo called Build My Mansion.
next door to Jesus and tell the angel I'm coming home it does Absolutely super. Thank you very much. We got to get you. out of here. Is it time to go? Go. One more thing. We got to need your help on this. Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling, and we don't care. All right.
Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you'd like merchandise, just check out the link below.